Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. So today I wanted to show you all of my tomatoes that I've planted this year and show you how they're doing. Okay, so as you first come into the garden, I've got a, this is my Brad's Atomic Grape. And this guy, he's probably the one I was the most excited about, but I've had the most trouble with him. I overwatered him at one time and then I planted him and I don't know if the wind got him or what, but he kind of broke right there. He's still growing okay. Sorry, I'll move my hand out of the way here. And maybe he'll get some roots where he's laying along the ground there, but he's got flowers and he seems to be okay, but that's just not ideally how I would like it to be. So we'll see how it goes. And then coming out here, I've got quite a few tomatoes. So let me show you here. I put all my determinant ones on the cages here. So we'll just go down the line. This one is the silver fir tree. It's really quite pretty. The leaves are very dainty and intricate looking. And that one's got tomatoes on it. There's what, like five tomatoes on there. It's got some flowers. Oh, six tomatoes. You see this whole little bunch over here. And then, sorry, coming over here, we've got, this is the Celebrity, and I've planted this one before. Doing good. Next to that, we've got the Early Girl, which I've all, all, also planted before. Flowers, but no tomatoes yet. Um, this is a new one. This is the Principe Borghese. Uh, this is a paste tomato. Or no, it's not. It's a, well, it is a paste tomato, but they use them for drying tomatoes, sun-dried tomatoes. And this one was the first to get tomatoes and it's got quite a few on them, on it. So that one's doing good. And then over here, this is Aroma. I've planted this one before. No tomato, oh yes, there is. There's a little tomato right there. Where is it? Right there. It's a very little, cute little thing. This plant looks kind of yellow at the bottom. It looked like that before I fertilized, so it's not because of that. Probably I should cut these um, branches off at the bottom. Okay, I'm coming over here. We've got the Ace 55, which I've planted before as well. Um, every other year I've just kind of planted all my tomatoes in a clump, so I never knew what was what. So, though I've planted this tomato before, I don't know how good or bad it is. I know it's good because I've never had a bad tomato out of the garden. Next to this, this is a new one. This is the Defiant tomato. I thought I saw a little tomato on there, but oh yeah, there it is. See it? Whoops. So that one's doing good. And then next to that, this is the Bush Goliath, which is also a new one. And I don't know, so far I'm like not too impressed because when it says Goliath, then I would assume that it's a big plant, but maybe just the tomatoes are big. But this one hasn't flowered and it's kind of puny compared to the other ones. Okay, next to that, this is a Siberian tomato. This one's supposed to come on early and do better in the cold. This one's also got a little bit of yellowing on the bottom branches and no tomatoes and a few flowers. And then 
Next to that, this is the Purple Boy tomato, also new. This one has some tomatoes on it. You can see those. So this one's doing good. Um, this one got broken off in the wind. So I staked it up and where it broke, I just wrapped electrical tape around, around it and it's doing fine. That was quite some time ago, so I think we're okay. This is the Jamestown tomato. This one's new as well. I don't see any tomatoes on that one yet, but it does have the blossoms. And this one's also a little yellow around the bottom. Okay, we did all of our indeterminate tomatoes on the Florida Weave system. These ones here are mostly cherry tomatoes. So right here we've got Tropical Sunset. Uh, no tomatoes on that one yet, but it does have flowers and um, this one gets like pinkish, really cool. You'll have to Google it. It's Tropical Sunset. And then next to that, this is the Unicorn Cherry Tomato. Thought I saw a tomato. Oh yeah, this one's got some tomatoes coming in on it. And then over here, we've got the yellow pear tomato. I'm excited to try this one. I've never grown it before, but I've heard it tastes like candy. So um, this next one is a purple bumblebee. This one's really cute because the tomatoes are striped on it. And the plant's doing really good. It's got buds, no tomatoes yet. Okay, and then this one is the Amish Paste Tomato, which I also haven't planted before. It's kind of a sprawly looking one. Kind of weird. Um, no blossoms even on this one, so don't know. And then over here is the Baby Roma, which has a ton of blossoms and I've grown this one before as well determinant tomato and this is the what are you the pole big which is a new one I don't see any fruits on it yet but it does have a lot of blossoms and the plant looks good okay this one's called the Virginia sweets tomato the plant looks really good it has a few blossoms on it no tomatoes yet and then this this one is the Cherokee Purple. This is my first time growing both of these as well. No tomatoes, but a good looking plant and lots of blossoms on there. This is the Aunt Ruby, Aunt Ruby's German Green Tomato. So the tomatoes are green, lots of blossoms, no fruit yet. Um, this one, I don't know what happened to it. This is a chef's choice yellow and it was doing fine and then it just died. Like I was out here one day and then the next day I came out and it was all yellow and wilted. So I just cut it off. It does have a little bit of leaf right here. I don't think it's gonna make it, but we'll see what happens. This one is the Goliath Sunny got blossoms no fruit and then the big beef which I have grown before blossoms and no fruit these bigger ones I'm sure take longer to fruit because the fruits are bigger so okay and then over here we've got the Kellogg's breakfast no fruit on that one but it's got blossoms I don't think any of these have fruit on them so I will stop saying that um, this is the ox heart Looks like they all have blossoms. Uh, this is chocolate stripes. This is a great white tomato. So the tomato will be white. This one is a brandy wine. 
I had grown the um, brandy wine red and then the wind snapped it right off so I had to go buy one so this is actually a brandy wine pink last row here um, this one is the better boy which I have grown before this is the white Thomasal, which was a free packet I got from Baker Creek. Uh, next to that, this one's the Mountain Rouge. I don't think I've planted this one before, but I may have. I know I planted one that said mountain in it, but I'm not sure if it was this one. And then this one is the Hampson DX5212. This one was made by Utah State University, which is just north of us in Logan. And it's good for canning and stuff. I have planted it before, but like I said, I always have planted my tomatoes in a big blob, so. It'll be fun to test each one this year. And then lastly, but not leastly, is the Mariana's Peace. This one has a lovely story to go with it, which I can't remember at the moment, but it's a potato leaf tomato. And I'm excited to try that. I got a lot of tomatoes. Hey guys, well thanks for watching. Let me know what tomatoes you're planting this year and if you've grown any of the ones that I have here, I'd love to hear any tips or tricks you have and I hope you have a great day. Remember to plan on.